Hello everybody and welcome to the Grikosophy channel. My name is Tam and today we are going to talk about the second part of the four part series on how to read and pronounce Greek properly in just a single day. Now if you haven't watched the first part it is very important that you do because all the explanations how the whole thing works and obviously the first important pieces of information are contained in the first part. So if you're watching this video on YouTube, please click on the link that is appearing right now in your top right corner and it will take you to the first part. For those of you that are watching this video on Facebook, I have put the link of the first part in the description of the video below. So without any further delays, let's begin. Okay then, fellas, it is time for the second part of our four-part series in how to properly uh, read and pronounce Greek. Um, in the first part, we went through the first ten letters of the Greek alphabet. So in this particular part, we're going to go through the second uh, set of ten letters. Uh, and at the end, we're going to have a test um, a few Greek words uh, in which you're gonna try and pronounce them properly uh, with me explaining t at the end uh, how to properly pronounce them. Okay then, let's begin. Right, we start with the letter lambda. Uh, not a very easy way to remember how to uh, pronounce the name of the actual letter. Uh, so it's Lama that you take away the a and the t, lambda, and when you see it in a Greek word, it's pronounced l as in lip, lad, and lalana. Moving on to the next letter, it's now a letter where it is mispronounced outside of Greece. Uh, I remember in the maths class uh, they were calling it something like mu, mu, and I thought no no no, it's not a cat. It's 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 a letter, so it's a letter. We call it me, is it me? Me myself and I. Me. That is the correct name of that letter. Me. Uh, and when you see it in a Greek word, it's m, as in meat, mad, money. And then moving on to the, <clears throat> excuse me, don't know what happened there with my voice. To the word knee. That's the correct name. Knee. Now you might get confused here a bit because when you write it in small letters, it looks very much like the letter V in the English uh, alphabet. Uh, but in Greek, this is the small letter N. And when you see it in a word, it's N, as in net, not, and uh, nickel. Stevie Nickel, obviously. Next word, a strange looking letter for you. It's the letter Xi, as in taxi, Xi. Um, and when you see it in a Greek word, it is actually pronounced as X, as in tax, fix, ox, oxygen chamber. The next one, uh, next one is the letter Omicron. Easy way to remember it, Omicronenburg, Omicron. And pretty easy, when you see it, it is pronounced O, as in log, fog, or riggy. Next one, now <laughs> another letter that uh, um, a little bit of story here when uh, I first moved to the United Kingdom as a student and my first uh, class in maths, first day um, and uh, you know my teacher learns that I'm from Greece, starts saying or oh, the Greeks and the Pythagoras and everything and everything uh, and then you know at, at some point during the lessons I, I hear pi number pi and I'm thinking oh, pi what is that and, and then I realized that you know they, they were actually mispronouncing what is the word P that is the actual name of the sorry the, the letter P that is the actual name of the letter P 
uh, not pie. It's not uh, chicken mushroom pie. It's pea. It's a pea. Different type of food. Okay. Uh, so when you see it is as in tap, pita, and paisley. Okay, that's pea. Uh, next is <laughs> the word again. It's getting confusing. I know because if you see the, this is your your letter P um, in, in in English, uh, but for us this is ro, as in bro. Now again, if you're not Greek, slightly difficult to pronounce because it's a rolling R, so it's not a rounded R. And I'll explain now. It's as in Try. I know even try or Britain, you sort of round the R as an R, Robertson. But in Greece, is a rolling R, R, Robertson, Britain, try. So it's it's a rolling thing. Uh, so unless your native language has a rolling R to it, uh, it's it, it needs a little bit of try in front of the mirror, try to, to roll it. Uh, but it's fun to give it a try. Next one. It's letter sigma, sigma, sigma. Uh, now, you might be confused here as to why it's spelled uh, three different uh, ways. And that's because the first, obviously, is the capital. The second letter in the middle is the small letter. But it also has a second uh, version of a small letter. And you only use that last version here if it's the last letter in the word. So, if your last letter in the word is written in capital sigma, uh, sorry, in small sigma, you're using this one. If it's all written in capital, obviously, you use that. Uh, anywhere else in the word, it's you're using this one. And it's pronounced s, as in C, sorry, sala. Next one is the letter taf. Okay, that's how it's, uh, its name is, taf. Uh, and pretty much like in English, it's pronounced T, as in T, Tab, and Torres. Moving on to the next one, this is the letter Y. Y. If you remember Tipsy Long, and you take away the first and the last letter, Y. Now, this one as well, <laughs> when you see it in a Greek word, it is pronounced as E. Fit, beat, and inks. Now remember, in the first part of our series, uh, we've we've uh, we came across two other letters as well. So there are three letters in total in the Greek alphabet where, if you see them, they're pronounced e, and this is the last one of them. Right. Wow, that was quick. So we've reached the twenty altogether letters now um, of the Greek alphabet. So it's time for your test. Again, grab your pen and papers, grab your notes from uh, the first uh, part, the first video, and your current notes. Uh, I'm going to bring up the words. And as you can see, they become a little a bit more complicated and difficult because now we have 20 letters to play with. Um, as I said before, make sure you see if there is a tone anywhere. This is where the emphasis on the pronunciation would be. And also, uh, press pause to this video, uh, have a go, uh, try and have a go to all of them. And when you feel that you're ready to compare your pronunciation with what I'm going to show you, press the play again. Okay then, let's see how it went. I will start with the first let uh, first word, 
And pretty much like in the first episode, I will go letter by letter. So the first letter is pronounced T as in tap. The second one is an O as in ox. Third one is a X as in ox. And the last one, an O again as in ox. So toxo, toxo, with the emphasis in the first syllable. Toxo, toxo. And it's a bow. That's what toxo means in Greek. Next word. The first letter pronounced L as in lip. The second one, E as in get. Third one, M as in mud. The next one, O as in log. Then we have N as in not. And the last one is an E as in fit. So slowly is lemony. Lemony. Okay? The emphasis in the second syllable. Lemony. And it's lemon in Greek. Lemony. Next word. Quite a long one, this one. So bit by bit, and this is where my PowerPoint <laughs> knowledge uh, went out the window. You will see what I mean. Trying to keep them all in a straight line. Uh, no. Uh, so first word is uh, m as in mud, followed by a as in tag, then a th as in theme, e as in fit, again m as in mud, a as in tag, t as in tap, and f uh, sorry uh, e as in fit, k as in kit, and a as in a. I will say it slowly. Mathematica. Mathematica. Did you get that right? The tone in the last syllable. So the emphasis in the pronunciation is in the last syllable. Mathematica. Mathematica. And if you remember in the first episode, I said in the Greek language, it's only the last three syllables that can receive the emphasis. Uh, here we have one, two, three, four, five, uh, math, math, five syllables in that word. Uh, this first one, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So it's only these three that technically can receive the emphasis, okay? Not the first or the second. So you will never hear in Greece this word pronounced mathematica or mathematica. It's either this, this, and that, the last three syllables only. So on this particular run is mathematica. And it's mathematics. That's how the word mathematics comes from, from the Greek word mathematica. Next word. Now, I forgot to mention that uh, before, but um, I hoped that it will not confuse you. It's these two letters that are together, okay? Nothing to worry about. You pronounce them as if though it's one of them. So let's start with the letter E as in get. Then we have letter L as in lip. Another L as in lip. A as in tap. Th as in then. And A as in tap again. So we say Elada. So those two lambdas, those two L's, we don't say Elada. We say Elada as if it's only one letter. Elada. Elada. Emphasis on the middle syllable. Elada. And Elada is Greece. That's how Greeks called Greece. Elada. Next one, another one that might <laughs> slightly confuse you with the pronunciation. So the first letter is G as in year. Then we move to E as in fit. M as in mud. N as in not. A as in tag. S as in C. T as in tap. E, other E as in fit, K as in kit, and another E as in fit. So you can see now this particular word has all three E's. This one, this one, and this one. All of them pronounced E. 
So let's pronounce it slowly again. Gymnastiki. Gymnastiki. This and this part might, conf- might sort of cause you difficulties. Mn, mn, m, n, mn. And this one here, gymnastiki. Again, emphasis on the last syllable, gymnastiki. And it means gymnastics. So that's the word gymnastics. That's where it comes from, from the Greek word gymnastiki. Next word, a fairly easy one after the last one. So we have t as in tap, r, the rolling, r as in try, e as in fit, and a as in tag. Tria. See the rolling r? Tria, tria, tria. Okay. If it's difficult for you, you can say tria, tria. That's all right. We, we, we're not going to, you know, get angry with you or anything. If you can say tria, fine. But if you can say tria, that's fine as well. And tria means three. Apologies if you hear some noises in the background. Uh, I think somebody's cutting the grass outside, a neighbor. So I've got the window open today. Apologies. Uh, next word. M as in mud, O as in log, N as in not, O as in log, and S as in C. You see this sigma here, As remember if I, that I said you, it's written like this if it's the last letter in the word and is written in small letters. Okay, so to pronounce it, monos. Monos, the emphasis on the first syllable, monos. And monos, monos means alone. Now the next word, there's not going to be much changes. So before I'm pressing to go to the next page, uh, you're not going to see any changes. The only change you will see is that the tone jumps from this letter to the second O. So have a look at this. Tick, see? So... The only thing that uh, changes in the pronunciation is the emphasis on the pronunciation. Uh, so instead of monos, which was the previous word, now it's pronounced monos. Monos. The emphasis in the last syllable. And monos was alone. Monos means single. Uh, single as in, you know, a single bed, for example. Um, not, not a single person. Um, Single bed, single bedroom, for example. Okay, another quite large word for you to tackle. Uh, A as in tag, S as in C, T as in tap, R as in try, O as in log, N as in not, O as in log again, M as in mud, E as in fit, and A again as in tag. So we're taking it slowly. Astronomia. Astronomia. Okay, hope you got that. Astronomia. Emphasis on the E, the last E. Astronomia. Which means astronomy. Uh, And again, astronomy comes from the Greek word astronomia. Well done, everybody. This is the end of the second episode, the second part of the series. Uh, How did it go? Uh, Let me know in the comments below. I hope you got all or most of them. Any questions, any difficulties you might uh, came across, uh, let me know and I will try to answer them uh, as soon as possible. But well done, everybody. Uh, In the third part that will be coming up, we're going to see the last final four letters of the Greek alphabet. And there we're going to have fun with a lot more exercises. See you in the third part.